There you go. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Here I was speaking with nobody hearing. That would have been blessed silence with uh, what my wife says. Anyway, John Sanders with Apex Insurance Group. Glad to have you along this uh, Wednesday afternoon for this uh, today's webinar. Showing up 15 minutes early gets you involved in our basic agent and some of the commercials. But without any further ado, let's kind of move along. We have some new information up on the Apex uh, website, the Apex Insurance Group website. When you log in and in the agent services area, if you go clear down to the bottom of the page and you see the information button, just the little lowercase i, that is for a new forum that we have installed with Apex Insurance Group. And there is about five different forum areas for participation in this uh, forum. And one of them is uh, the general rules. We just ask that you uh, uh, don't uh, puke all over yourself with uh, some uh, words that probably you would not want spoken in polite company. And uh, we don't need any political or religious or philosophical stuff except when I get on and opine. Additionally, we have our four lanes of travel that we have, which is our business in a box. Uh, we have our federal and postal lane, and that forum we have our uh, final expense and our Medicare lane. Now, those are the four lanes. If you have questions, if you have information that deals specifically or general information, go ahead and ask it on those forums. For those of you who have never had or been exposed to an online forum before, we invite you to just go up there and explore. Even if you go on to one of those four areas and uh, just say, hi, what's going on? As you can see from up here, you see up here, there's only two entries so far because that's how new it is. And we're looking over a period of time. Uh, Ron and I have the long game involved that we're looking for six months, eight months, 10 months, uh, two years from now, that agents will uh, make this a fruitful area for the interchange of ideas. Apex Insurance Group is not intimidated by the sharing of ideas across the board with other agents. I know that other agencies and uh, other IMOs and FMOs, they don't want two agents talking because they know that if one agent finds a better deal, and leaves the IMO that it may take the other agent away. We already know that we have the best deal out there, and uh, so we're not intimidated by that. Some of our agents have been around six, seven, eight, ten years, okay? They've been along, around longer than some of the dogs that I have on my property. So anyway, we want you to participate in, in that. Go up there and explore. We also have two other areas, and one of them is the coffee shop. We've spelled that British. I don't know why. But anyway, we've spelled it uh, shop, S-H-O-P-P-E. -P -E. Maybe because if you drink a lot of coffee, you just got to go PP. I have no idea. But anyway, uh, the coffee shop where you can just get up there and BS and communicate and share ideas and things like that of no particular interest. And then the final area, which is of value to some agents, is, hey, I got this side deal going. Uh, I know that we have one agent that um, makes uh, and embeds a business logo on the sides of various things. And uh, I know that in the past that I've paid Fiverr uh, some good money to have them do the very same thing that this agent does. So he may very well uh, give us some information or post it himself in that area. But it is. Uh, we, if another agent is doing something outside our lane of insurance that may be of benefit to other agents, then certainly we want that shared because I would rather have a highly productive, financially fit agent um, because it just helps everybody. If, if we can find an average agent that earns over 65000 we don't need an average agent. I mean a stellar agent. I don't think I've ever earned uh, below uh, average ever in the insurance industry. And uh, trust me, I, I'm nobody special. Hey, today's webinar, it sucks, it blows. 
Your guess is as good as mine, but there it is. I'll quit playing games. This is what it is. It's a shop vac, okay? If you take a look at a shop vac, I like going down to uh, Home Depot, primarily Lowe's. It seems to be the uh, my choice anymore. But if you take a look at a shop vac, its primary function is to suck. But with the proper attachment, it will blow. So it sucks and it blows, okay? And here, I bet you were thought, thinking of something else. But anyway, um, let's talk about this. Uh, let's look at a product that in the life insurance world provides life insurance and or a tax-free retirement. So when it sucks and it blows, just like a life insurance product, it may provide life insurance value or a tax-free environment. Have you ever thought of a life insurance product or a type of an insurance product that does that? Okay. Well, maybe if you haven't, because it's according to the Life Insurance and Marketing Research Association, all that blah, 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 LIMRA, we've all known that 23% of all life insurance purchased in 18 and 19 was indexed universal life. So IUL. Now, certainly you've heard of IUL, but do you really know what that is? Okay. And even into the first quarter of 2020, uh, we see that uh, uh, IUL sales are going up, and it often makes a really unique uh, tool for planning a future retirement. And uh, I'm not going to give you a nuts and bolts version of what an IUL policy is. I'm here to light you up and maybe get the idea flowing, get some of those uh, juices going, because we have a number, whether of good webinars, whether it's dealing with Jeff Moore our product relation guy with American National Life Insurance uh, through our Megastar if you're in the postal federal lane, or whether dealing with um, Andrew um, Paris on the Levinson side if you're just running a straight track of traditional life products uh, or the uh, uh, business in a box. But the IUL product is a tremendously awesome product and it can be used when used properly. I will tell you, it can provide both a permanent life insurance plus it can provide a tax-free retirement if it's used properly. See, an IUL is a form of universal life insurance with cash value that is also grows based upon the stock market indexes. Now, it is very similar to an indexed um, annuity. And in the fact that the money is put into, uh, there is no commingling of money, but it's based upon the stock market indexes, okay? Additionally, the cash value in and of it grows um, when the chosen stock index grows, but it doesn't lose value. So remember, we hear people marketing an indexed fund goes up when it goes up, but when the stock market goes down, it latches in place. And that's what an IUL does. So uh, conceivably, and I'll tell you what, it's light years better than a variable uh, life policy that has got more black eyes than a spider. Um, but an IUL policy is pretty good. It also turns around, and an IUL is a life insurance policy that provides or can provide a lump sum of tax free uh, cash uh, to the beneficiaries when you die, because we all know that life insurance proceeds are tax-free to a beneficiary. And uh, additionally, as I move my mouse around here, another thing to consider is an IUL can also pay you cash if you don't die, but suffer a critical illness, whether it be a nursing home rider or additional money back. So I'm not here to talk to you about any specific product. And understand, I've mentioned Jeff Moore, who is an outstanding national sales manager for American National Life, who in and of itself, I've known Jeff for the last, oh, 12, 14 years, and he does an outstanding job of understanding what, uh, understanding an IUL and how it relates to the American National product for the postal federal market or even into a traditional just a traditional life insurance policy. And then also Andrew over at Levinson has a plethora, which means a whole bunch if you're from uh, Michigan, 
uh, a whole bunch of different life insurance policies that you can use or a lot of different life insurance carriers. Also, an IUL can provide you with money or the holder of the policy with money to cover long-term care expenses if you need it. And here's kind of a little diagram that um, of how to explain and how to look at whether it's a IRA, whether it's a 401k, individual trusts and accounts. Now, we don't, unless we're licensed to do so or unless we're certified to do so, yes, uh, we are not allowed or no, we do not give uh, any kind of financial or retirement planning or uh, ideally any advice on trusts, okay? That'll get you in a, a crap load of hot water. But anyway, the goal here is the way to minimize taxes, to take advantage of a tax-free retirement, and make money work for you. The biggest challenge most people have, if they put it into a money market account, if they put it in any kind of a banking instrument, is the money is working, but it's not working for you, the depositor, or it's not working for the client, it's working for the bank. If you put money into a stock market or any into any type of an equity-based object uh, that's 100% equity-based, it goes up and down um, with the flow, kind of like, uh, well with a whole lot more uneasiness than the tides and a lot less, uh, you know, it's not predictive at all. So the tides may go up, the tides may go down, and so will your value. Um, I've seen my accounts, uh, retirement accounts, go up and go down because they're still in an equity product. Additionally, I would highly recommend the book Tax-Free Retirement by Patrick Kelly. Patrick Kelly is a really cool guy uh, that he has put together this plan that will allow you to develop a tax-free retirement. Now, it's an easy read uh, as reads go. It also is available on uh, your Kindle or your tablet, and I would highly recommend that you pick it up there, and if you take a tab uh, or your phone uh, with you wherever you go, then you can always spend time reading. Uh, Wasting time. Uh, just as a little personal side note, because I like to pontificate and I like to editorialize. But wasting your time is is something that you'll never get back. I'd as soon waste $1,000, uh, like any time I give it to my grandkids, okay? But uh, then to waste an hour of my time. My time, I will never retrieve. Money, I can make again. So if you take and read uh, while you're standing in line at a grocery store, if you're standing in line at the motor vehicle uh, department, you know, if you're standing, well, if you even get to go out in public, I know some of the folks that are listening probably are unable to get out there in public right now. But additionally, let's talk about the basic crux of how an IUL works and how it works with relationship to a tax-free retirement Uh, A tax-free retirement is basically, the basics is borrowing the cash value of a whole life policy, and it becomes tax-free, and you never plan to pay it back. Now, that's a loophole that the United States government allows you to uh, take advantage of. And, um, you know, I will tell you that um, the government will create laws and rules designed to uh, block out the average person, the the average person from making it rich, but they will always leave loopholes open for those who are intelligent enough, like they feel they are, to take advantage of it. And this is one of the openings that they left. After all, um, you know, when you die, uh, I have no idea who this character is, but pays uh, it pays a death benefit if the policyholder dies, and uh, if. And and cash back if you're not dead. So that is the cross-dressing drag version of George Burns. But if you happen to live, then you can take advantage of the cash. Now within the, I know that I've talked a little bit about our Megastar alternative and our carrier. Let's make this thing a little bit bigger. But uh, through Levinson, these are some of the organizations that we work with with regard to uh, IULs. And uh, the thing that we'll probably want to pay attention on the different columns is the rating. You'll see that there is only one B-rated organization, which is F&G, and uh, that's, they're not bad. 
Uh, but if a person is willing to uh, take a little more advantage of the, the cap and, and the par rate, then uh, maybe that might be a way to go. Um, again, uh, whether it be uh, Noah or Andrew at Levinson to ask some of the marketing questions concerning each and every one of these products, then uh, you might want to take advantage of, of you utilizing Levinson. You can get in contact with us and we'll talk to you about the various products and then make a recommendation issue ages as well as e-apps okay as well as e-apps so many of us who are producers already we are utilizing we are utilizing some of the you know and running into clients all the time that are young that could very well take advantage of an IUL product and if we miss the boat on it trust me our competition is picking it up now, one of the things that I really do like a lot about Levinson is they've created the various experiences. They have a final expense experience. They have the IUL experience. And with, uh, with, within uh, that realm, the IUL experience offers training. It offers software. It offers a quoting engine. It offers training. It offers uh, um, everything that you're going to need to make the IUL selling experience something very good for you and also to fully understand it. Wrapping in the Patrick Kelly book would only bring um, added knowledge to you as an agent and also value to you as an agent. Uh, let's look at it this way. Here's our sales software side of the house. There's various different software products that you can use within the IUL experience with Levinson. Additionally, you can take a look at the campaign in a box. I'm not sure if they stole that idea from business in a box for us. I kind of very seriously doubt it. But it can, you can uh, do various promotion items. You can take a look at some of the various carriers and look at the product descriptions. Um, and I will tell you, uh, selling an IUL policy is absolutely no more difficult than it is to sell a traditional life policy, and it's no more difficult than selling a, uh, an annuity. The difference is, is you're using an IUL policy to build wealth where you have an annuity product that there is already wealth there and you're looking at liquidating it uh, potentially uh, over a period of time in a lot closer fashion. We would use an IUL to help build value over the next 10 to 15 years and then, uh, an, uh, then we would use an annuity if somebody comes to us with a lump of cash. So for the various individuals who would be watching this, you know, again, it's just as simple as a phone call. It's simple as calling us here at Apex Insurance Group and talking to us about the specific needs of a client and how to make that thing a whole lot better, how to make your experience with that client a whole lot better. And again, during this particular time where it's, you know, maybe it's not so good that we get out and sit across the dining room table with someone unless they happen to be fixing us a meal. Um and a darn good meal at that. But the thing is, is when we're dealing business online and we're dealing with e-apps and Zoom presentations or whether you're using Google Meet with uh, or uh, they now call it Google Workspace, uh, any of the Google Workspace products um, through our Business in a Box product, um, I'm telling you, you've got the full disposal of virtually everything if you just set up the virtual office suite or set up tabs on your browser you can reach out and grab a, a variety of different products to take advantage of, and you can absolutely dazzle your potential prospect, whether they have a lot of money or whether they have very little. And I think the longer we've been in business, we understand that we'll run into millionaires, and they don't even uh, let on that they are millionaires. Uh, you know, you don't even know. And I've seen a whole lot more people who have money that act like what we would consider normal people. And then there's a lot more than there are posers out there that act like they have uh, a lot of money, but they are uh, more broke than um, the upcoming administration, as an example. Wait, hold on. That was political. I wasn't supposed to say anything. But aside from that, truly, take this book, give it a read. Um, read it from front to back. And then read it again. It's almost like one of those books of uh, how to win friends and influence people. We should be reading it all the time because you never know um, when 
you will be given an opportunity to give an ad lib or an ad hoc presentation, okay? And it becomes very important, okay? That if you can explain it, you can capture somebody's name, you can capture their phone number, and maybe most importantly, you can capture some of their money. So I thank you for attending today's webinar. And, uh, oh, by the way, yes, my hair is blue for those of you that even care and have thought to ask. But anyway, Ron kind of freaked out today when he saw it. Um, we invite you to participate in the Basic Agent channel on YouTube. It is set up for your, um, for your uh, use. Take advantage of it. It's designed to help you learn, uh, give you the basic techniques of prospecting and lead generation, how to open up new products, how to close sales. Um, none of us are perfect. We all learn from one or another. And uh, if you're married, you uh, are constantly being retrained by a spouse. Okay. So in, in that kind of a world, I, I'd like to help retrain you to be the best possible agent if I can. Um, and maybe better yet, maybe you can help me. Here's me on a better day. There's how Ron looks every day. So if you need help from either one of us, be sure to give us a call. And if you are not registered as an agent here at Apex Insurance Group, we would darn sure want to have you as part of our team. We would like to um, have you grow with us and, uh, and, and go into any of the four lanes that we have. So do not hesitate to give us a call here at Apex Insurance Group.